Hello and welcome to our video. Here, we'll show you exactly the way you can remove this browser hijacker from your Chrome, Edge, Brave, Opera, and Firefox browser. The hijacker is difficult to remove because it enforces its own policy on the affected browser, which stops you from deleting any rogue extensions and revoking any unwanted changes to the browser settings. We'll provide highly detailed removal instructions that we've tested ourselves. However, Hijackers change and evolve all the time, so despite our best efforts, we can't guarantee the success in all cases. If the suggested steps don't solve everything, we recommend installing an anti-malware program to do everything for you. Our top recommendation is Spy Hunter, which offers a free trial period. We recommend trying Spy Hunter first before the other programs, because we use it for our testing, and it has the best odds to remove the malware. Now without further ado, let's get started. When trying to remove this malware, you should first check your installed programs and delete anything suspicious. Begin by opening the start menu and typing apps and features. Then hit enter and sort this list of programs that appears by install date. Look at the most recent entries and see if there's any items that look suspicious, unfamiliar, or if there are any ones that you don't remember installing. If anything grabs your attention and you don't think it should be there, click on it click uninstall and carefully follow the prompts to delete the program. You must start by making any hidden files and folders visible so the hijacker can't hide anything from you. Click the start menu, type folder options and hit enter. Then go to the view tab, enable the show hidden files and folders option and click OK. The next thing you need to search for in the start menu is the task scheduler. Once you open it, click on Task Scheduler Library from the top left and carefully look through the names of the different tasks, looking for anything that's oddly named. If you think a particular task is suspicious, right-click it, go to Properties, check what triggers it in the Triggers tab, and check what action it performs in the Action tab. If the action is to start a particular program, pay close attention to the location name of that program. Doing so could help you determine if the task is related to the malware. If you think a particular task is malicious, right-click it again and select Delete. Next, press together the Control, Shift, and Escape keys to open the Task Manager and click on More Details if you don't see the full list of processes. Sort the processes by CPU usage and then by the memory usage to see which ones are most resource-hungry. If among those processes, you notice anything that seems suspicious and could be linked to the malware, right-click it and select Open File Location. Now right-click the process again, select End Task, and then immediately delete everything in the File Location folder that you just opened. If you're not allowed to delete a particular file or folder, Download the Log Hunter tool through the link in the description and install it. Then right click the file or folder you can't delete. Click on the What's Locking It option and then click Delete in the next window. Do the same thing with all processes in the task manager that seem linked to the malware. Remember that the process name may differ from what you see in the video, so use your discretion and common sense to decide which ones to target. Next, go to your C drive, open the users folder, and then your admin folder. Go to the app data, open roaming, and look for any folders with unfamiliar names or names that seem like it's linked to the hijacker. If anything catches your attention, delete it. And if you aren't allowed to remove the folder, use Log Hunter. Most hijackers nowadays will exploit the browser's policy feature to enforce their custom settings and prevent you from deleting the rogue extension. Because of this, you'll first need to unblock your browser by deleting such rogue policies before you can restore its regular settings and eliminate any hijacker extensions. Go to the Start menu, type Edit Group Policy, and press Enter. Then expand the Computer Configuration folder in the window that opens. Right-click on Administrative Templates, select Add Remove Templates, and see if there's any policy templates listed in the next window. Normally, if you're on your personal computer and you haven't initially installed any custom policies, anything you see in that list must be deleted. Just select the rogue policy and then click remove. 
Once nothing is left in the list, close everything, restart your computer, and go to the browser to see if the hijacker policy is gone. The hijacker likely stores its policy instructions in your system registry, but you just can't go in there and start deleting random things in hopes that the problem will be solved. In fact, deleting the wrong thing here can make your system unstable and lead to all sorts of problems. For this reason, we recommend backing up your registry. Go to File, click on Export, then ensure that the export range is set to All, and save the registry backup file under a name of your choice. If you want to restore from the backup, go to File, Import, select the backup file, and click Open. Now to figure out what you need to delete, open your browser and go to one of these URLs, depending on what browser you're using. See if there are any rogue policies listed there with values made of random characters. Copy the respective value and paste it in a sticky note or a notepad file. Next, you must visit the extensions page on your browser, but the hijacker might redirect you when you try to do that. If this happens, go to the folder location of your browser's extensions. You can see the Chrome extension path on your screen. Delete all folders you find there. This will corrupt all extensions in the browser, including the hijacker ones. As for the extensions you want to keep, you can easily restore them later by simply clicking on the repair button. Now, you'll be able to go to the extensions page of the browser. Once there, turn on developer mode from the top and check the IDs of any rogue extensions that you aren't allowed to remove. Copy and save those IDs too. Then go to the start menu, type registry editor, and open it as administrator. Press Ctrl plus F, paste the first policy value you saved, and click find next. If the search finds anything, delete it. Then rinse and repeat until you've deleted all related items. You may be denied access to the respective key you're trying to delete, which is another of the hijacker's tricks. The solution is to right click the parent key of the one you wish to delete and go to the permissions. Then go to advanced, click on change, and type everyone on the text field. Click on check names, and then on OK. After that, tick the two replace options and save the changes. You should now be able to delete the hijacker key. After you delete everything linked to the first policy value you searched for, do the same thing with all the other values and extension IDs that you collected. Next, navigate to the registry editor paths you see on your screen and check them for registry subfolders, also known as keys, that have the name as the affected browser. For instance, if you go to your local machine, software, Google, and there's a Chrome subkey inside it, you must delete that key. Finally, go to the registry key you see on your screen, select it, and see if there's a value named Cloud Management Enrollment Token in the right panel. If such a value exists, delete it. After all this is done, there should be no more registry keys that enforces the hijacker policy in your browser. If you don't like the manual policy removal methods, there's also a free automatic solution, but it only works for the Chrome browser. To use it, click the Chrome policy remover link in the description or Google it and go to its site. Then download the Windows version of the tool. It costs nothing and it's perfectly safe at the time of making this video. However, some more aggressive antiviruses might delete or quarantine it. If this happens, you'll need to temporarily disable your AV and re-download the app. Then open the policy remover as administrator and wait for its script to run automatically. You may need to press enter if the script doesn't start on its own. A few moments later, all policies should be removed from Chrome. You can close the command prompt window and proceed with cleaning up the browser. Now that you've performed a thorough system cleanup, all that's left to do is take care of your browser. This process is slightly different for each browser, so we'll show you how to clean Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. Click the three dots menu and click extensions and see what extensions are installed in Chrome. We recommend removing all extensions that you don't recognize, don't need, or don't remember installing. If clicking on the remove button doesn't directly delete the extension, then first click the toggle button to disable it, and then quickly click on remove again. Click the three dots menu and go to settings. Open privacy and security from the left and click on clear browser data. Make sure you're on the advanced tab and check everything except passwords and other sign in data and click the clear data button. Also, scroll down to site settings and one by one check each permissions and content category for sites that you don't trust. 
If you find any unknown or untrusted sites listed in any of those sections, click the three dots next to their entries and click remove. Now go to Appearance from the left and see if there's any custom URL written in the Home button section. If there is and you don't recognize it, delete it. Also visit the Search Engine tab. Make sure that the default search engine is on the one you want and then go to Manage Search Engines. Look for unknown and questionable search engines and if you find any, click the three dots next to it and click Remove. Head over to the On Startup tab. Check if the third option is selected there. If you spot any odd looking URLs listed, go ahead and remove them as well. In Firefox, first click the puzzle icon in the top right, then click Manage Extensions and delete any unwanted or unfamiliar extensions from the browser. Next, click on the three horizontal lines in the top right, access Settings, and then open the Home tab. See if there are any unusual URLs added to the home page, new windows, and new tab settings, and if so, delete them. Then pay a visit to the Search tab and make sure that the default search engine is the one you want. Also, scroll down to the table of search engines that Firefox can use. If you see anything fishy there, select it and then select Remove. Moving to the privacy and security, scroll down until you get to the cookies and site data and click on Clear Data. Make sure that both boxes are checked and click on Clear. Lastly, go down to the permission section, open the settings on each category and remove any questionable URLs. Once you open Microsoft Edge, go to the three dots menu and click on Extensions. Then click on Manage Extensions button when the pop-up appears. On the page that opens, look for suspicious extensions and delete anything you find. Then open the Edge menu again and click on Settings. First, go to the Privacy tab. Click on Choose what to clear under Clear Browser Data. Leave only passwords unchecked and then click on Clear Now. Next, scroll down to the very bottom of this section and click on Address Bar and Search. Change the default search engine if you don't want or trust the current one, then click on Manage Search Engines. If you see anything sketchy there, click the three dots menu and click Remove. Next, check the Start, Home, and New tab section for suspicious URLs that need to be deleted. Finally, go down to the Cookies and Site Permissions, check the various permissions categories for any suspicious sites, and delete anything unwanted that you find. So this was our in-depth guide on how to remove the malware from your system and browsers. If you still have any questions, suggestions, or you have any other removal methods that could work here, be sure to leave them as a comment below.